go. Worker of healing, I don't need that. Okay, so we can pass on this. Okay. Oh, hey, it's the uh, battle music from FF4. Okay. Oh god. Ow! Okay, what's going on? deep of blackest terror! Hey, I don't know how I dodged all that. I wonder how you'll taste. I don't know if that'll help, but I did it. Battle does so wet the appetite. <laughs> uh Hey. Okay. I don't know why I got that. Um, also one targetable. Um, okay, ow. Okay, yeah, I am clearly doing the, uh, least damage, I think. Um. No more games. But I mean, I did let them know before we, uh, Okay, uh, did I do that right? Good, good. A fitting finale.
Oh my god, why are there so many big AoEs? <laughs> Hey, how the hell was I supposed to dodge those? Cool, okay. I, uh, yeah, I, re <laughs> I resurrected just in time to get shit on. <laughs> Take another 26,000 damage. That was rough. <laughs> okay. Hey! Uh, we had him? Hey, okay. well, cavalry comes in, I guess. Guys, return to the. Uh... Hey, we don't want those. Okay, uh, what do I do now? Okay, I just okay, it's through here. Okay. All right, story time. <sighs> I think. Tell me one thing, Cagliazzo. Say that. A dragon of our world crossed over into yours long ago, but I have felt her presence here again. What is the meaning of this? Say what you felt was this. Uh -oh. By the sisters. Oh, hey, it hooks eyes are back. <laughs> oh. What have you done to us, Daya? If you want answers, you'll have to get them from Lord Gobez. Oh, okay, so they... Assuming you've the strength to face him. A pity I will not see the plan to fruition, but my part is done, and to fight thrill of battle in my heart makes it all the more worthwhile interesting no wait where is she where is my sister at long last i go to join the great Interesting. So, by the sounds of it, the people in charge, like, want to pass on. Huh. I don't know what that was either. Okay. By the gates closing, there can be no doubt that he was the one who opened it. Oh, that was a gate. Okay. Thank you for explaining that game. Um. Oh. Asdaya. I prayed we might meet once more. Oh, buddy. She is likely still in the void. Take heart. We will find her yet. And we're back to the sad music. 
While you discuss how to proceed with your search, I would excuse myself to look around. There may be salvage that we could use at the camp. That's fair. In that case, I'll patrol the area for more void sync. I should probably equip that gear Very I got. Well. Let us take a moment to consider our options. Okay. better 605 okay um so yeah my gear is slightly crap um oh yeah wow okay um huh yeah i was uh the weakest link in that party by far um why doesn't it want to get rid of that one or do i already have one oh i thought i got a ring oh no i got earrings um, okay, I got an earring. Okay, let's put those on and update the gear. Okay, cool. Ah, back to uh, me reading. Got it. So, we've discovered the source of the void scent outbreak in Garlemald. Oh, we're in Garlemald. Okay. Um, gate forced open from the void. Ooh, yeah, okay. Uh, the barrier between our worlds is especially... Pardon me. Uh, thin here, I suspect. Okay. Elsewise, I see little reason why the Reapers chose to live in such a such an inhospitable place. Uh, even if the conditions are ideal, we're talking about a gate uh, that could pass an arch fiend. Uh, opening one so large could not have been easy. In the age of Alec, Emperor Zande created an enormous portal using a prestigious amount of ether harnessed by the Crystal Tower. In theory, a similar feat should be possible from within the void. One need uh, but have the requisite amount of ether, such as that harbored by a Great Worm's eye. And its ether is indeed greatly diminished. Zephyr's vision. Um, Golbez let his archfiends feed upon Ashdai's ether. Uh, if he has also taken an eye to open this gate. It does not bode, bode well, I know. Nevertheless, we must remain hopeful and continue our search. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, what I find curious is why our foe uh, our foes choose to strike now, some 5,000 years after Ajdaya vanished into the void. Yeah, that's... And while their overarching plan remains a mystery, what exactly was... Kegnazo? I don't... Yeah, I heard him say it. I don't remember. Um, Kegnazo's part in it that he has... that he had finished. Uh... <laughs> Your uh, guess is as good as mine there. Now endure with NPCs. Okay. Uh, be advised you may use mounts within Lapis Mentalist, but only during this quest. Okay. Why? Huh? Okay. Uh, there's the floor despondent. Oh, Ashdaya, what has become of you uh, that even your eye should be so spent of ether? Can't bear the thought of her being held captive a moment longer. Uh, but how will I find her? What must I do? Calm yourself, Ritra. I appreciate that you are upset, but such passion clouds your judgment. You must endeavor to remain composed. 
your mind is clear, we may consider how to proceed with our search. <sighs> You're right. Uh, in the meantime, I will help Alphano and Alize back at the village. Uh, that sounds like a fine idea. We should go as well. Okay. We're with Alphano. Oh. Is that why they told me I can, uh... Okay. Uh... Is this, uh... Like, the refined stuff that's dripping down here? Because it's also on fire. Should I be breathing that in? Um... You know, sh should I be worried? Yeah, now that I'm looking around, there's a lot of that stuff burning. Um, I, I mean, I'm sure it's fine, right? Like, you know. Not going to get resurrected next time, and they're like, congratulations, you have lung cancer. Passage to... Okay. So I'm guessing this is why they told me I can mount? Travel to, I suppose... Uh, all right, buddy, what you got? I don't see Vreacher with you. Is everything all right? Uh, he needs a moment to himself. Uh, while he is indisposed, uh, we thought we'd lend you a hand. Just finished patrolling the area, so we're fine on that front. Uh, there's no sign of no signs of void scent, and I doubt we'll see any more now that the gate has been closed. As for Elfino, uh, he set his sights on the Ceruleum Spring. Okay, so yeah, that's what I was talking about. Down, uh, we're hoping to take as much of the stuff as the Snowcraft can bear. Uh, that much fuel uh, would keep the people warm for a good while. Um, we've managed to procure a few suitable containers for transporting ceruleum, and we're about to return to the spring. Mind to scrounge up if you've a mind to scrounge. Yeah, if you've a mind to scrounge up more containers, I can take what you have now and get them filled. Giostinian, uh, the more we can load onto into the snowcraft, the better. Okay. Would you and you, Stola, mind helping us with our search, then? Uh, you'll need to take any suitable container to the spring and then back to the Snowcraft once you fill it with Ceruleum. Okay. Huh. Uh, search for a leak-proof container. Alright, let's just start talking to stuff. Bottom... Bottomless barrel, okay, well, um, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this one, yeah, this is less a container and more of a sieve, given the poor condition in visible holes, okay, well, um, okay, Alizé's there, um, lapidated barrel, okay, well, I'll interact with this one, it's a container and more of a sieve, okay, um, well, we'll, we'll take a look at this one too, I guess. Whole puck barrel. Okay. Uh, it's the one I'm actually looking for. Container appears to be suited for repurposing. It'd be a fine container. Okay.
Yeah, the bike goes faster, so... Oh, I have to actually... Okay. Yes, I will. Yeah, I'll, I'll travel down. Thank you. Okay. Let's just let's get back on the bike. Yeah, I didn't think ceruleum occurred naturally. I thought it was a byproduct, but well, whatever. Yeah. Also, like I said, a lot of it's on fire. Is that not, like, bad? Because, you know, yeah, I'm looking at that going, uh, inner's now filled to the brim. That has been filled. You should... A hurry and take it to the Snowcraft. Justinian has already sent the rest. Go on ahead. Uh, the others ask that I remain here in the event that they find more. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm being... Yeah, good. I was about to say, I guess I'm being uh, teleported back. Uh... This is interesting, though, because I think this is the first time, unless I'm mistaken. Um, I'll finish my thought here and then read this. Um, it's the first time, unless I'm mistaken, that they've, like, almost, like, repurposed a, uh, a dungeon area to make, like, you know, more sort of story in it afterwards. But I don't dislike it. Uh, the Snowcraft is all but overflowing with Ceruleum Container. However... Um, several of your comrades have yet to arrive. Perhaps a nearby vantage point will afford you a more favorable view of their return. Okay. I mean... Okay. Is Retra not back yet? My apologies for the delay. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm probably going to go with no. <laughs> I am. As distressing as this turn of events was, the eye itself gives me cause to hope. While it is no longer possessed of Ajdaya's will, it may yet lead us to her. Were it not for your encouragement, I would never have dared to embark on my search, much less come this far. I will not lose faith. I will find my sister. Wheresoever she may be. Good job, buddy. We'll return the eye to her, together. Though tainted, the eye has not fully succumbed to darkness, as Daya herself may have been able to resist its influence. Maybe? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure where, uh, where the plot's going here, so... Well, as much as we'd love to take part in your next foray, we can't abandon our efforts here. Indeed. We'll need to keep a close watch, in case the Void Gate opens again as well. That's fair. Though should it prove safe to do so, I have some ideas for how we might put this village to use. Do what you must. We will manage. To free Ashdaya, I expect we will have to deal with Golbez once and for all. After which you may undertake your work without worry. I... I guess? I don't know. 
We look forward to the glad tidings. You'll take good care of everyone, won't you? I... What? Why do you ask me this? <laughs> okay. Because comrades look out for one another. And I can't think of anyone more qualified to keep them safe. Hey! I'm right here. True. I will do no less than I've promised. Huh. If our respective plans are settled, then let us head back. Okay. Yeah, no offense to uh, Garlemald, but I like places that are a little warmer. Okay, so where am I? Okay, I was about to say, where am I going? Okay, that was easy. Okay. Yeah, okay. I suppose this is where we part ways for now. Though we have every faith in you, uh, we will pray for your safety all the same. That's that's fair. I am very inept. You, I probably need all the help I can get. Glad we had a chance to talk, Zero. Uh, take care until next time. Okay. Like I said, I have I don't remember anything about what's going on here, so um Till next time. Okay. A very small amount of money, which will hopefully which will hopefully cover my repair bill. Um, okay. Am I right in assuming that we are to return to the void? Uh, now that matters here have been settled, yes. But first, uh, we should return to Razadhan to prepare. Uh, when everyone is ready, let us convene at uh, Meguhadu. Hatua? Okay, I butchered the hell out of that, so, um... Athbard. Okay, well, there goes most of, uh, there goes most of the money they gave me. Okay, um... All oh, right, Camp Mountain Cities. Um, down, no, oh, up and uh, okay. right. Okay, okay, that makes this easier. Oh. Ah, uh, God, I haven't been here in ages. If everyone is ready, then let us depart for Al Zadar's legacy. What in the. Oh. Uh, that's probably not good. I mean, you know, giant pla giant flaming pillars usually aren't. What was that? A deluge of ether. The mark of a terrible magic. It wasn't far from here. Let's go. Okay. Uh, right into another dungeon? I, I, maybe? I, I'm not, yeah, not sure what's going on. Um. Hey, you, stop! If you're thinking of taking to sea, don't! 
What has happened? We were out working our nets when a light suddenly shot up over Balflower Isle with a boom. A massive fiend then took to the skies. Another blasphemy, we feared. But we didn't linger to find out. Huh. Did you see where it was headed? I can't say for sure, but it looked like it was northward bound. I see. Our thanks for the warning, and do not let us keep you. Okay. I'm not sure where that points to. Um... <laughs> Bafla Al is connected to Al Zadal's legacy. This cannot be a coincidence. Oh, okay. Thank you for <laughs> explaining that. In response to Kanyatso's defeat, they have come for our gate. So it seems. I would ascertain the situation of the vault, but the fiend must be dealt with ere people come to harm. Earn me. I shall assume my dragon form and seek it out at once. Wait. You heard, Lord Fisherman. A blasphemy, they called it. If another flying creature were sighted now, others will assume the worst and panic will spread. This is not the way. I guess I say I'll see to the fiend. Um, I mean, we can't work together on this, but... You are right, Estenine. I will gather my soldiers and search the isle for casualties. As you wish, the fiend is yours. The hunt will go more swiftly with help. Zero, might I prevail upon you to accompany her? Very well. Right. Still not 100% sure. Then Estinian and I will make for Al Zadar's legacy and secure the gate. Okay. Stay on your guard. The enemy is clever and will have anticipated our response. Be safe, my friends, and may the sisters guide your steps. Okay, so where am I going? Hey. hey, buddy. Saw a light fly, uh, light over at the Buffalo Remnants, too, didn't you? We've sent scouts to investigate, but if you have to report back, continue to keep watch here. Okay. Shaman saw Fiend emerge from Buffalo's Remnants before heading north, you say. Uh. Saw. Uh. Saw what I thought was a ball of flame flung from the explosion, but now I wonder it flew north in the direction of Kadga. It is in fact a fiend. Trouble on our hands. We must remain vigilant. Okay. I presume we've come to investigate the explosion as well. Uh, we've yet to ascertain precisely what happened. Is there any... Uh, or any information you can share with us. Fiend emerged from the explosion and flew toward Kadga uh, by the sisters. Had I learned of this sooner? Never mind. Uh, there's no time to waste. Uh, I have way too much food. Give me money. Um, desires untold. Okay. Confound it. Uh, we were so concerned with the explosion that we failed to recognize that the threat had not yet passed. Must alert command at once and instruct the people to seek shelter. Um, see if the fiend is indeed there, I guess. Uh, there's no telling what manner of enemy this may be. Then again, you are more than capable of defending yourself as you wish. We will leave this in your hands. 
The giant skull grounds are situated at the base of Kadga. I myself, I myself, am not familiar with the mountain paths, but the quarry workers are bound to know many. Um, Ketuar, Ketun, Ketunur, for instance, he has worked there the longest. Go, my friend. May the sisters keep you. Okay. Hey, buddy. I'm not going to pronounce your name again because I'm going to butcher it. Want to climb Kadga. Couldn't have chosen a worse time. There was an earthquake earlier and it triggered a rock slide. I'm afraid the main path to the summit may be blocked. Um, if you're determined to go, then I suggest you speak with Shrem Shremul? Uh, Shremul? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that either. Uh, Climbs like a langer and might know some other way up, if not the gentlest. Okay. Uh. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, an ether current. Uh. Okay. How do I get to you? Uh. Okay. All right. I don't know when exactly I would have seen this during like normal gameplay, but. Uh, okay, how do I get back up now? Um, okay, but how do I get back up now? Um, oh, okay, I can swim. Okay, I was like, uh... <laughs> Sometimes I'm never sure in these games whether you can swim or not. Um... There are definitely uh, some games where it's like, cool, that's like a, you know, like a, like a barrier, right? Okay. Hey, buddy. Reach the top of Kadga. After what has happened, that should be the last place any sa anyone sane would want to be. Well, <sighs> uh, but yes, I am familiar with another route that should be passable. I was uh, once afraid of heights, you see, and used it to build up my courage. Uh, though I cannot say I have the courage to brave it under these conditions, I'll take you to where the route starts, but no further, alright? Sure? Uh, not sure what I'm walking into, though, but... Hi! Hi. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. We were too late. The vault has been destroyed. The alchemical furnace with it. Uh-oh. This was their true objective. To deny us entry into the void. Okay. Kanyatso and Ashdaya's eye were a diversion. A means to detain us in Garlemald. While they went to work here. Okay. To reduce the vault to rubble. That which you hunt is no ordinary foe. Have care. Okay. So what am I doing? <laughs> and why am I doing it by myself? Um. Oh, hello. Hi. Such an exquisite sight. The canvas of vibrant colors. As was our world, too, once. Gomez's champions, I presume. Oh, you are not wearing much except for that cape, sir. Um. <laughs> I am Rubicante, the Archfiend of Fire. Okay, so we are fighting them seemingly, unless I missed one. Um, it seems like we're fighting them in the same order they came in in the game? Or like Final Fantasy IV, I mean, because I don't think we fought Valvalis, but... A monster in flesh. 
Yet in spirit, I remain a man, a prisoner of the past. Interesting. Such tears I wept when darkness consumed the world. Until Lord Golbez came and spoke of salvation. Thus do I walk proudly at his side to see his dream fulfilled. Okay. Hmm. Your heart is pure. For benevolent cause you seek the dragon. Huh. It's interesting that you can tell that just by looking at me, but okay. But I cannot allow you to have it. Cannot allow you to interfere. If you would continue, then there is but one recourse. I shall await you at the summit. Come, mortal. Come and weigh your righteousness against mine. Hey. I mean, at least he's not burning the forest down. That's, you know, I give him that. Mount Ordeals now accessible. Oh, great. It's not a dungeon. It's a ra uh, it's a trial. I think. Uh Wait, is it? Uh. Trials. Oh, I <laughs> meet the average item level. Okay. All right, stream's over. Um, what is my item level? Uh. Oh, it's off by. What is it? Three? Boo. Okay. Um. Uh, is this? Yes. Representative. Uh, arranged DPS. Okay. Um, well, that was fast. Commence. Hey. I summon my friends. Okay. Oh, a little, a uh, little kappa. Autarch? Is that how you pronounce that? A flame? You stayed the course, as I knew you would. As too will I. Come. Hey. What? <sighs> hey. The arch fiend of fire has no equal. Okay. The glory of fire. Wait, is Sun Chaser doing anything? Flames to make it for Uh what? What? Flames of torment grow brighter. What am I? Okay. Uh Darkest flames to me. Okay. What? What did I do wrong? Uh what? 
Okay, so I... Oh, okay, can't walk over those. Maybe. Uh, what did I... Okay, uh, I'm not sure exactly what I've done wrong, if anything, but I'm just gonna... Gonna focus on my rotation for a moment, and... Ooh. No. Okay, what is what is going on? Okay, uh my dad? walk through this? Sort of. Um... Okay. Uh, stuck. Okay. Oh, I can cast while I'm like this. I just can't move. Say, where do you go? Uh, oh lord, okay. It's a lot of enemies. Put up my shield, so okay. You spread worthy enough to try. But will it be enough? Oh. I am one with the flame. I just burned my puffs. <sighs> oh, okay. Hi. You are the first to behold this form. The flames rise <laughs> higher. Bleeding. Okay. Look now on my essence made pure. What in the... Destruction in ah! Why? What What happened? Why did he kill me? What, what, what did I do wrong? I mean, aside from getting hit by a truck. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't get what happened. Hey, 
I now definitely have to worry about my mana. Uh, use that for everybody else. Armament of Rubicon's heart is made manifest. Flames to lick at your heels. Okay, it's this again? Uh... Okay, so like here? Or not? Yep, definitely not! Okay. <laughs> okay, I clearly don't know how that fucking works. Oops. Uh. Oh, I got resurrected at just the right time, so I didn't get the penance thing, so I could move there. Interesting. Okay. Ow! Why? <laughs> the flames rise <laughs> higher. To ashes with you. Oh god! Of, okay, I think somebody limit broke. Flames to lick it for heal. You don't need to dodge, just kill the boss. <laughs> don't take that as advice, chat. That's horrible advice. <gasps> you should actually try and, like, dodge and, yeah. Okay, let's... Oh, hey. Only one left. Okay. Hey, I got a player commendation dying twice. Okay. <laughs> he 
It seems I was a step too slow. <sighs> to defeat all of us arch fiends, you are strong indeed. Okay. Like both of those kind of lead to the same thing. This might answer the question. You would know my lord's true purpose. Very well. The knowledge will not change the outcome. Listen then, and learn how all began. Okay. Flashback. How long has it been since the world was undone? Since light and life gave way to darkness and undeath since we were reduced to beasts befouled squabbling over what scant ether remains but you are different you remember who you were and the paradise for which you fought okay that world will never be ours again but we need not suffer in this purgatory of death and rebirth forever. Join me, and together we shall seek the promised land. Promised land. There is no hope. No freedom from the wheel. You speak a fantasy. I speak truth. The Asians' revelation. There are other worlds than this. Ours is but one of fourteen. Okay. There is no greater proof than the whispers we hear, born of a neighboring reality. A reality to which we may journey if we can but break down the barrier that divides us. So he wants to break you meant it, then. We will take this world as our own. <laughs> Look out, me! That, um... In return for your strength, I offer you opportunity to pursue your own ends in service to a greater cause. Got the epic cape flourish down. A glorious kingdom of light, wherein all may know death's sweet embrace okay see that's what i th yeah that's kind of what i wondered if that's what they were going for so they want to go to the uh um yeah they don't want to go to the our world they want to go to what is it the first maybe and thus did we begin our great work yeah, and Zero's literally like... You intend to forsake the 13th and conquer the Source? Just so. Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. 
Oh, they want the source. Where we may reclaim our mortality. You served Golbez of your own volition. As atonement for my failures, I tried to be a hero. Tried to stop the war. But I could not. Or. So in turn, you wage another. A means to a final end. The wheel of depravity must be broken. Even the most exalted succumb. We eat and eat and deepen the stain upon our souls until only the hunger remains. Is this to be our fate for all eternity? I wonder if uh, that face is like part of what uh, what know. the person looked like before. About this and a great many things. But I do know that it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. Not everything need be a trade. This I learned from the people of this world. Even without a contract, without any expectation of personal gain, they labor for one another. I didn't understand it at first, and perhaps I still don't. But if I'm to achieve something, I'd rather do it their way. Else I'm already a hunger-maddened beast. <laughs> Perhaps we have indeed surrendered to the hunger after a fashion. Make for our moon. There you will find both Lord Golbez and your dragon. Wait, make for our moon. Yeah, why are you telling us this? To be so viciously slandered. Pride demands I prove my virtue at the last. Ah! And perhaps your own will resonate with his and draw forth that singular jewel which abides deep within his heart. I wonder, is he, uh, is he a reflection of ours? His quest to free us from our purgatory, a desire all his own. Also, now just thinking about it, are we going to be okay dispersing all this dark ether here? Or is that, like, kind of going to help balance out all the light ether from last expansion? Like, you know, um, are we still talking about that? Like, <laughs> hey, my inquiries delayed me. I am not accustomed to conversation, but I'm glad I arrived in time to speak with Rubicante. Uh, as much as I understand his motives, I believe there's a better way. Yours. Uh, the future you strive for is one I wish to see. Uh, and I want to know why I feel this way. Why this fire burns in my breast. Uh. Right. Okay. God's revel, lands tremble. Uh, there's nothing more for us here. What if... <laughs> Alzadal's Legacy. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to butcher all these names. Um, uh, has there been word from Yastola and the others? Yeah, rip. Um, I see. Frustrating. Uh, perhaps, but better than uh, the gate be destroyed. Oh, oh but better... That the gate be destroyed, then used to unleash more voids in. Okay. 
Uh, we should return to Makuta and join the others. Okay. Okay. See you both returned and whole. Your friends arrived not long ago and are already with the satrap. Shall I show you in? Yeah, go for it. Right. <clears throat> now, take a drink. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> pardon me. Thank goodness you're both all right. Okay. Unfortunately, we have nothing further to report apart from the loss of the gate. Well, I have some... Uh... But tell us, how did you fare on the mountain? Okay. Yeah, plot! <laughs> Golbez aspires to deliver Voidsent unto the source. Where they may die and return to the life stream to be reborn. Far be it for me to deny them, but the cost to our people would be beyond unconscionable. Indeed, Void Sent themselves are inherently dangerous. Never mind the chaos sure to follow should the barrier twixt our worlds be shattered. It would be naught less than a calamity. Yeah, I kind of thought so. Yeah, I'm going to say that one. I mean, that's pretty obvious, but... Certainly not. That said, our task has been rendered rather... difficult. Yeah, that's that's one way to put it. Indeed. Rubicante has deprived us of the means to cross into the void. Kenyatso's faint. That was doubtless what he meant when he said his part was done. Golbez sacrificed two archfiends just to stop us. He must need more time to break the barrier to our world. Uh, I guess. And then the days ahead will be critical. We must find a way back to the 13th. We could employ another Atomos. But that approach would only be viable if we found another planar fissure. An unlikely prospect. Better we explore other avenues. If you will excuse my absence, I shall return to Charlian to look for information. By all means. Meanwhile, I shall seek the counsel of our alchemists. Time is of the essence, so wish me luck. Okay, uh... I'm no scholar. I'll find another way to keep myself busy here. Yeah, that's fair. Go for it, buddy. <laughs> Stola alone will be more than a, more a match for those to, uh, for those tomes. Uh... Is that supposed to be more than a match, or, um... How about a little training to keep your lance arm honed? <laughs> Dig. <laughs> Rest assured, I never shirk my training. I will be ready for whatever awaits. There you go, buddy. Zero. May we call upon thee when next we venture unto the third. Aye. And in case you're wondering, I won't ask for further payment. I will go for myself, to try and understand why I spoke the words I said to Rubicante. Okay. And the fire I felt within, when you all came to my aid in Galamald. 
Yeah, I remember that. While our esteemed sorceress battles her tongues, let us see to our own affairs. That's, yeah, that's fair. I just hope you're going to be all right, buddy. I will not fail you again, sister. Okay, so... I'm guessing because my character didn't bring it up. Literally meant, like, we have to go to the 13th moon. Not, like, ours, because otherwise I was like, well, you know, going to ours is easy. Like, you know, give me a second, I'll go right now. Uh, before you leave, I once again, uh, once more express my gratitude. By your hand, has staff never been saved yet again? Uh, but before you delivered my people... Uh, you helped me rediscover hope. Uh, when the sight of my sister's eye left me bereft and adrift for a time, uh, we may have lost the gate in Alzadal's legacy. Uh, there must be another way to travel to the void, and together we will find it. Uh, for now, I bid you rest and recover your strength. I, too, shall have my vessel improved ahead of our next foray. Uh, to achieve this uh, to achieve his ends, Golbez has sacrificed uh, his four generals. Oh, did I... Wait, did I already beat all four? Um, such a ruthless foe is unpredictable in the extreme, but no matter uh, what he plots, we shall do our utmost to see uh, that he does not succeed. Reading. Cutscenes? Yeah, because I thought we hadn't... I thought we hadn't beaten uh, Valvalis. Like, the wind one yet. But I could be very wrong. Ooh. Meanwhile, on the... Yeah, on the... Okay, it's on the moon of the 13th. Those are some chains. Kenyatso and Rubicante have joined with the great flow. Okay. In this world, tis the ravenous who are useful, and few were as ravenous as they. You were fine pawns, my arch fiends, and you have played your parts to perfection. Oh, I guess that was the fourth? But with the goal in sight, I need no minions to do my bidding. Okay. Overconfidence. Here on, I shall walk alone. Huh. So it's something similar to uh, what we have on our moon, maybe? Oh yeah, that's just... Yeah, that that's pleasant. It... At long, long last, the end draws nigh. 
Okay, but what was this place originally built for, or did they build it? The end to life on that star. And the end to my suffering. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure if what he wants, though, is a rejoining. Oh, the... Hollowed and harrowed. Okay. Bringing favor. Hey, okay, Rashawn's eyes light up when they see me. Spirit, it's good to see you. Uh, have you any news from old Charlian? I don't know, I haven't left. Uh, I've yet to hear from Yerstola regarding her search uh, for a means to return to the void. I confess that her silence has left me feeling restless. Uh, nor am I alone in this. Astinian has such an excess of energy that he has been helping to train our soldiers with nary a grumble. As for Zero... Something the matter. No, no. Zephyra paid us, uh, paid us a visit, and so I was apprising her of recent developments, or the lack thereof. Are you heading somewhere? I to replenish my ether. Would you like to come? Is that, oh, is that what she calls it? Rare but most welcome invitation. Timely, too, I might add. I myself was thinking of entering out into the city. It would be my pleasure to join you. Uh, you will accompany, accompany us, of course. Yeah, sure. Uh, come, then. I've, I have an errand to run at the bazaar first. You do? Right? Yeah. Harry Merchant. Picking up some more spice. Reed told me to do so before my next visit. Mr. Zero has quite a tolerance, you see. The sisters know we Hainish are fond of spicy food, but I doubt any of us could keep up with her. Uh, with just the spices they normally have on hand, the Mahane... I can't quite satisfy her, which is why I'm happy to provide what they need to achieve more rigorous flavors. Uh-oh. Uh, now then, variety is the spice of life. Perhaps you'd like to choose something extra to blend with Mr. Zero's usual stuff. It'll keep things interesting. What do you say? Uh, fine by me. You can appreciate the nuances. This world sustenance far better than I can, as expected. Uh, colorful spices... Lustrous crimson, aromatic black corns, little red husks, coarse yellow flakes. Um, what the aromatic black corns? These corns tickle your nose uh, with their pungent yet enticing aroma. One can imagine they lend dish quite an appetizing a scent. Yeah, sure. Ah, uh, that's a fine choice, but don't take my word for it. Here, have a taste. Uh, Zero may wish to observe your reaction. It would be considerate to sample the spice in her presence. Uh. Okay. Uh. Where is it? Okay. Let's try this again. Tentatively place some of the spice on your tongue. Intense aromatic heat fills your nostrils. <laughs> your reaction speaks volumes. That will suffice then. Always a pleasure, Mr. Zero, and give, uh, and do give a ride? My regard? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Okay. My usual, please. 
But with this spice... Of course, Cyril. It would be my pleasure. Well, now, this is enough to make a whole kettle of your special curry. Uh-uh. I don't need that much. Rest assured, it's easy enough to make a serving just for you. Or we could make the kettle and share it. Pardon me, just having a drink. There would be enough not only for your companions, but other diners as well. I dare say everyone will be delighted. Very well. A full kettle, then. Excellent. We'll prepare it at once. And for your excellency and our esteemed adventurer, are you happy to try a bowl of Zero's curry? We can make yours milder if you prefer. Screw it. Grateful though I am for the offer, I cannot fully appreciate the flavor with this vessel. Another time, perhaps. Do not hold back on my account, my friend. Eat and enjoy. I'll have His Excellency's helping, because I don't, you know, I don't learn my lesson. <laughs> Understood. Please, make yourselves comfortable. Okay. I also don't know how, uh, you know, how poorly this will go, but this will be funny either way. It gladdens me to see you taken to life in Rad's at hand, Zero. In the area of our cuisine, not least of all. Spicy dishes have long been favored in our sultry clime for their ability to whet the appetite and cool the body. Of course, spices also have the effect of preserving foods, which makes them highly coveted in foreign lands. That is true. All of this has given rise to a thriving spice industry, and the wealth it brings has allowed our nation to prosper while maintaining its neutrality. So you trade your spices? Seems rather more complicated than trading in ether. <laughs> in the beginning, this land was no more than refuge for me. But now it is my home, and the people of Radzat Han, my beloved children. Together, we build this vibrant nation, and naught would please me more than to show it to my sister one day. Vibrant. Rubicante said the same when he described this world. A reminder of all that has been stolen from us. What many who remember doubtless yearn to take back. Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. In this world, where we may reclaim our mortality. Nonetheless, it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. As I told Rubicante, as I found myself moved to speak, I still do not understand what made me feel this way. Nor what compels you mortals to help one another. But I hope to someday. We too hope that you will find the answers you seek. Yeah, I think that's fair. Oh. What is going on? What? What's happening? Compliments of Mistress Zero, the Sartrap's honored guest. We are serving a special curry for anyone who wishes to partake. But be warned, it is not for the faint of heart. Uh-oh. I... Oh, by all means, I'd welcome the challenge. But say, I think I've made a mistake. Uh, sisters have mercy. The smell alone is... Uh-oh. <laughs> it burns! It burns! 
Uh-oh. I think I've made a mistake. To better maintain the facade, the alchemists ensured that my vessel was capable of consuming food. However, I fear Zero's curry would test the limits of their design. I asked for some. Apologies for the delay. Please relax and enjoy your meal. I have made a mistake. <laughs> Chat help. <laughs> relax. I don't have time for that. I've been waiting for this. Come. Let's replenish our ether. <laughs> I'm gonna need this mask to hide all the tears out of my like, character's gonna be having. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Oh, apparently I'm fine. Thank. Okay. My whole life flashed before my eyes, and it was exhilarating. That's funny. <sighs> I trust you have eaten your fill. Oh god, I don't want any more of that. <laughs> I shall have Merit prepare a meal for us to take to Estinian. I suspect he too is overdue a replenishment. By this hour, he will have retired to his chambers at Magaduta. Come, let us pay him a visit. This, those drinks look really appetizing though. Getting hungry. Eight before the stream. Damn, that's annoying. Uh, oh, the spicy curry has left you slightly flushed and set your heart racing. Whatever challenges await, you are ready to face them head on and with feeling. That's, yup. Okay. What's going on? Welcome back, Master Sinian just returned. Happy to escort you. All right. Estinian, are you there? We've brought something for you. I enter. Oh, hello. Well, well. Oh, be still my beating heart. Whew. <sighs> Squid masala from the Mehane. I thought you might enjoy it. Masala, eh? I prefer my squid dried. But I'm sure it won't disappoint. My thanks. Wait, dried. Idle as I am in our sorceress's absence, I see. I can't offer much in the way of entertainment, but make yourselves comfortable. Oh, you already did that, buddy. <laughs> yep, she she's uh, she's looking. <laughs> Shall we disrobe as well? Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's the <laughs> No, no. We simply caught our friend unprepared. He will make himself presentable at once. I am sure. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Ah, okay, that was worth it. <sighs> ten out of ten. Oh, speak of the devils. We've been looking for you. My friends, tell me, were you able to devise a way to return to the 13th? I believe so. It required a visit to the moon, where I took the opportunity to enlist Orionje's assistance. Ishtola hath told me all. 
I should be glad to help you free Ashdaya and put an end to Golbez's dark plot. Hey, buddy. <laughs> if Rubicante spoke true, both Golbez and Ashdaya are on the moon of the 13th. Uh -huh. Unlike here in the source, however, we have no means of making the journey from the surface of the star itself. The technology simply does not exist. That's Therefore, fair. I propose that we employ a gate to deliver us directly to our destination. Okay. Is such a feat possible? In theory, having once been a single hole, the source and its reflections share striking similarities in geography. And according to a certain someone who unceremoniously whisked us away to the first, the same locations across the worlds are intrinsically bound. Okay, so we do have to go to our moon then. All of which is to say, were we to pass through a gate on the source's moon, it should lead us to the moon of the 13th. Okay. Of course, there is the risk of Voidsent gaining entry to our world. Thus did I decide to seek Orionje's counsel. That's fair. Both the Watcher and the Loperitz are aware of our proposed endeavor. While they are yet deliberating precautionary measures, they have pledged their full cooperation. Well, at least one of those people, uh, you know, is more dependable. Much as the Loperitz are cute. You've been busy. I presume you've also found a way to open this gate. Be it in Radzat Han or Shalian, scholars have long cast their gaze unto the endless dark of the void. And so, with Harnish insights to augment our knowledge, we have indeed conceived of a promising plan to pierce the veil. Ooh. A plan I am confident will succeed, precisely because the moon is our stage. Oh? The preparations will be extensive, and we will require vast quantities of ether. After all, our gate must be large enough to accommodate another great worm. My proposal entails delivering copious amounts of ether to the Tower of Babel in Garlemald. Okay. As you will recall, Fan Daniel used the structure to destroy the brands imprisoning Zodiac. And we, in like manner, will use it to channel ether to the moon, and thereby open our gate. Okay. I see. Then we shall need someone on the moon for the necessary rituals. Just so, Your Excellency. I intend to head back anon for that very purpose, as well as to help devise our strategy to deal with invading Voidsent. Along with our lunar allies, we will once again require the assistance of your alchemists, Nidana not least of all. May I trouble you to serve as their escort? Fine by me. The room was beginning to feel constraining. For my part, I shall oversee the requisite tasks on the star. Might I prevail upon you for your assistance? Okay. If all are in agreement, then let us set to work. Seems like we have a plan. I... We'll open our gate, and we will stop Golbez. Okay. Ooh. That's a... Oh, the Dark Throne. Ooh. That's, uh... That's a little ominous. 